Hi, my name is Fix, I'm the Managing Director of The Door. I wanted to put this video together to support customers who are possibly interested in purchasing our roll door. So our roll door is a custom made to measure retractable fabric door. So it can reach a maximum height of two meters or 2000 millimeters by a meter wide or a thousand mil wide. And that's with our single cartridge option. We do have an option which is a duo cartridge and that can reach up to two meters where you have two doors sliding to meet in the middle. So you can have any millimeter in between and have those two doors sliding together. So just to go through our roll door. So you may have come across it in um, camper van conversions, small living spaces. And we have a lot of customers who would fit it in alcoves in the home uh, for a sliding door. And that textured fabric feel uh, would be in the living space. So if you've got a custom storage that you're looking to uh, to build, it's a perfect option there. Within the camper van and RV community, um, used regularly in self builds, and we also have a lot of trade customers worldwide who would fit roll door, mainly used as a waterproof shower door. It's also been used as a dividing walkway between uh, the driver's cockpit uh, the bulkhead into the living area so it means that you can close that door and then you've got privacy for the driver or if you're placing a bed in that area um, and it, it blocks out the light as well so you don't have to have a windscreen um, blinds and window blinds which can be quite expensive so with a one roll door as a walkway and um, it's a great option the other use is uh, is a a doorway under the bed to the garage is a popular use for that and also if you want to create um, uh, a privacy area for your bedroom so where your bed may be at the back of the camper then you can have the frame custom made and then you can have a privacy blackout blind for that option as well uh, sometimes you may have uh, somebody who's, who's converting a minibus and they've got large windows and you can have um, a custom made roll door to fit as a vertical option to, to cover those um, strange odd sized windows. So, so much use for a roll door. Um, we've made some changes recently. So you'll see a lot of videos on YouTube of customers who've fitted our doors and they explain how they ordered and what options they went for. So originally we had four options, which was A, B, C and D. And the reason for that is the logo. So our logo was at the top track. So what we've done is to try and make our door more versatile, we moved the logo to the handle. So it meant that the cartridge could be either on the left or the right for an opening left or opening right option. Um, so it was a lot easier to use. So when you ordered the door, you could um, you could choose which side you want the cartridge. The other options as well was um, where the cartridge would sit. So the cartridge is the front of the door and the, and the textured layer. So you could have the cartridge facing outwards. So if you're looking at your opening, the cartridge faces outwards with your textured side on the front. So our option one on our website is cartridge facing outwards. And it could be either left or right now with your textured layer on the same sides of the cartridge. The most popular option is our option two, and that is for um, if you're using it as a, a camper van shower door. So I'll explain quickly. So option two is a flush front finish. So your finish at the front, your cartridge will be facing inwards <clears throat> into the shower room or into the room and your waterproof layer is going to be on the same side as the cartridge so you've got two sides you've got a nice textured color front and you've got a waterproof resin layer on the inside so that would sit inside with the cartridge facing inwards and then it'll give you a nice flush finish at the front so there are two ways to fit our roll door. If you're using it um, within a camper van, 
So the measurements that we need is the total height and, and the total width. So your outside edge to your outside edge. And then if you're fitting that in a recess, so an opening within your camper van, um, if you're doing it as a shower room, so that would slot into place of your opening. If you've got a slight height discrepancy um, in your opening, you would take the smaller size. You wouldn't take the larger sizes, obviously it wouldn't fit. Take the smaller size and then you could fill the gap. So that would slot inside in your recess. Um, other things to look for as well with the, with the with your recess. So most camper vans would use a 15 mil or 18 mil ply, and then you have hygiene board uh, to add a couple of mil to that. So the width, or well, sorry, the depth of our frame is 20 mil, the top, the sides, and the bottom. The cartridge is 50 mil. But if you imagine that is in your recess and you, um, you've you bonded it, uh, I mean silicone at the bottom of your um, recess for when you sit your, your door in place, then you would want the back of your track close to the edge of your shower tray. If you're using 15 mil ply with a hygiene board, then you'll have a couple of mil overhang inside and then you can add drainage holes to the bottom track. So when the water runs down the screen, it runs into the bottom track and out of the drainage holes at the bottom into your shower tray. If your door is going to sit exactly in the recess and not overhang, you want to add drainage holes to the bottom side. Try and keep the, the bottom track as close to the edge as possible. You don't want a long distance of recess. So if you've got a deep recess, keep the, uh, the door frame closer to the, the shower edge so the water doesn't have too far to travel. But the, the reason why we don't put any drainage in the bottom tracks because it is used for many applications um, as I've explained, um, but if you're using as a shower room door option, you may have a shower um, tray that has part toilet and part shower tray. So you want to add the drainage just to the, the shower tray part. But the most popular option uh, that we are finding is bringing the frame inside and overlapping your opening. So to do that is very simple. Like I say, the measurements we need is the total width and the total height. So this is a 500 mil um, door width, as you can see, and it's 1800 high. So it's ample for sp a space. But if you've got a 500 mil opening and you were recessing this, so this is 500 mil. So your door stop, your handle and your cartridge, this is 15 mil. 50 mil and 60 mil so that framage is taking away from your from your opening but when you're bringing inside and overlapping you may have a, a 500 mil opening but if you bring this inside and you add the measurements of the door stop and the measurements of the cartridge which is 60 and 15 that will bring the frame inside. So all you will see from the outside is your handle and your fabric sliding back and forth. So a 500 mil opening, you'd add 75 mil. So the total measurement we would need is 575 mil. We do get a lot of questions. Can you take the, the frame larger with inside? So you can take the cartridge side right up to the sidewall if you have room. And what that means is when you slide this open, the handle will slide inside up to the cartridge. Um, but when you're standing outside, it's quite easy to, to reach in and grab the handle. But with the door stop side, that can't go any further than 15 mil past your opening. And the reason being is as you slide it across, if you go any further past um, the opening, then you will lose your handle from the outside. So 15 mil on the on the door stop side is a max past your opening. And when it comes to the height then, so your top track is 30 mil high and your bottom track is 30 mil high. So if you are 
bringing inside and overlapping. If you look at the bottom, you probably have like a step through or you've cut out an opening and that bottom track can sit maybe just above your shower tray and you fix it onto, the, uh, onto your wall. Or you can rest the bottom track onto your shower tray and then you would add your drainage holes at the side. So I would recommend lifting it up slightly if you can, if you've got a step through wall there and adding your drainage directly down and with enough space underneath just to give a, a, a wipe of a cloth. And then when it comes to the height, it doesn't have to be just 30 mil over your opening. You can take this up to just below the ceiling so it looks framed nice, uh, nicely inside um, and it, it will give a, a lot better look when you're inside. But like I said, the most popular option is, uh, if you're doing a self-build, is to see the frame from both sides. But what I would recommend is you can take the cartridge out when you're fitting, which I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then what you do is you take the cartridge out and you want to silicone the joints. So they're like T-joints and they, they slot on onto the bottom there and there. And you add clear silicone to that just to prevent any leakage out of any of the joints. Um, but what you can do is you can add a splash back in front of the bottom track. So if you are um, putting in a recess, you could maybe use the hygiene board. Um, so 30 mil high and place that in front of the, the bottom track and that will stop any leakage outwards into the walkway area. Um, it will just bring it back into and keep it contained into the shower tray. So that's that is a great option. So it's a, it's a, a really strong magnetic close. You can see there. Obviously that when that's fixed, nice and watertight. As the as you close the screen, it rolls around a sprung-loaded cartridge and pulls any of the water down out of the bottom. And what you can do is keep the door closed to enable the dry-in, just as a support. And like I say, you can remove this cartridge, it's very simple. So at the top and the bottom, there is a U-shaped clip and this handle splits apart. If I take the top clip off, and then split this handle apart. And like I say, that is a tensioning bar. So it keeps the, the, the screen taut. Okay. And all you do, is you put your fingers behind the cartridge and just pull the cartridge forward and I'll show you how that clips into the frame in a second. So you'll see a, a magnetic strip down there <clears throat> and this brush. Uh, that is um, for draft exclusion, so that supports any um, keeping the, the room contained of any drafts. Um, I say very different to a, a shower curtain where you could be having a uh, your shower and the shower pulls the screen into you. Um, you don't get that with this. So it is a, a real luxury door and really keeps in the, the, the heat contained in the room for you. So that is it. the cartridge comes out. Um, this can be replaced years down the line if you want to freshen it up. You know, we do plan in the future to have more and more colours. We do a, a light grey and a cream. Um, but you know, we plan plan to build in more fabric colour options. So if you want to change the colour scheme at a, a later date, it is possible to change that cartridge, keep your frame in place, and just slot the the new fresh cartridge back in without having to remove the door and, and so on. Great option. But that is um, that 
that is our door like i say it's made out of aluminium really strong magnetic uh, great seal it's widely popular uh, with our trade customers um, once they've used it once they they tend to use it all the time um, we've got a lot of trade customers in in the uk ireland um, really popular for us in germany um, also australia and usa we are able to deliver worldwide to to order on our website is very simple so you, you choose the color frame that you that that you like best this is on a um, a youtube video so you can see that close up and um, the different color options but choose your color option frame and from there you'll have some set sizes so you get your measurement your total height and total width depending on if you want a recess or overlap and once you've got that measurement you can see some set sizes that we have available and what you do is you choose a size that's closest to your size so you would need to round it up for example if you've got a height of 1796 millimeters you would choose the height above that which is 1800 and then for the width you you for example you may have 780 if you choose an 800 width and then we've got options available on that listing where you can put the actual height is in millimeters and the actual width is in millimeters and that will let us know when the order comes through that we need to cut the total height and the total width to that then you've also got the options of option one and option two so option two is the cartridge facing inwards and the waterproof layer on the inside and option one is the cartridge facing outwards with the textured side on that cartridge and then you've got the options of your your fabric color which is um, light gray or cream so very very simple there's also um videos on our website to support how to put the frame together when it arrives there's customers who have fitted this door and they can explain as they're fitting it um how it works and um, there's also a quote um invoice online so you can go to our quote and if you're not quite sure how to order a set size go to the quote it'll send us an email and we'll create an invoice and send that to you and that will send you a link to our checkout on our website where you can just purchase your exact requirements for your for your door but if you have any questions um please drop us a message we're available on live chat most hours uh, email and you can give us a call we're on messenger and we could even get a, a, a whatsapp messaging going uh, back and forth so you can send us some pictures of your project and we'll support you but i hope that answers any questions thank you